The actor Clinton Liberty, star of House of the Dragon, explains why he thinks Adam of Hull is Seasmoke's new writer. Adam, a bastard son of Corlys Valerion, is abruptly picked by Seasmoke, whose previous writer was Corlys and Rhaenys Targaryen's son, Laenor Valerion, as season 2 episode 6 closes. The ongoing dance of the dragons has suddenly shifted the power dynamics due to an apparently ordinary shipwright becoming a dragon rider. Liberty was asked in an interview with Variety what he thinks it takes to form a link with a dragon, and if it has to do with Targaryen blood, strength, or something else entirely. He explained why, in his opinion, Sea Smoke chose Adam but the dragon had not selected Stefan Darklin, who had Targaryen ancestry. Additionally, he makes comparisons between Seasmoke's choice of Adam and Laner, who are half-brothers. Since only true-born Targaryens could become dragon riders, the House of the Dragon status quo severely limited the means by which the Blacks and the Greens might fight each other. That is changed when Seasmoke selects Adam, which eventually prompts Renera to expand her requirements for new riders. As a result, Hugh Hammer is selected by Vermuther, and Ulf is selected by Silverwing. Liberty highlights that an individual spirit is equally important as the blood that courses through their veins. As seen by Vagar's selection of the merciless Eamon Targaryen in season 1, that essence need not be noble. Eamon and the Greens suddenly find themselves at a disadvantage because the Blacks now have riders for Syrax, Sea Smoke, Vermuther, Silverwing, Vermax, and Moondancer, even though Vagar is the largest living dragon. Demon Targaryen appears to have given up on his ridiculous quest for the Iron Throne, but the Blacks ought to possess both him and his dragon car axes. In House of the Dragon Season 2 Episode 7, the Dragon Keeper's rejection of the notion that Targaryen bastards could become dragon riders illustrates that not everyone is open to the status quo shift, but it has nonetheless changed the course of the continuing conflict. However, this does not alter the fact that the Dance of the Dragons will cause dragons to become extinct more than a century before Robert's rebellion and until Daenerys Targaryen's dragons appear in Game of Thrones, no matter how optimistic this appears for the future of dragons and their riders. <laughs>